Good morning and welcome back to Subsistence. So since the last episode I've done a little bit of work off camera. I've been down to the lake and gathered quite a bit of sandstone and turned that into glass fragments and actually crafted up a couple of windows and put those in place. Um, I'll take you out to the elevator in just a moment so you can see what I've been up to. Um, I did craft a couple of alcohol to make some uh, molotovs. I think they're in here. So we have four molotovs now. Um, managed to get quite a few pearls on that um, diving trip as well. So I've repaired my weapons and also, um, while I'm thinking about it, repaired a couple of my um, pieces of clothing. So that's all good. And nothing in the workbench. I did put a... Uh, a couple of things aside here so that we can craft um, a new elevator track because um, we want to try and link up to the roof if we can so that's something else I've been working on we did also harvest um, two chickens and I've got two new ones to replace them um, they've been kind of chilling out down here they're now level six um, they level up pretty quickly to be honest uh, I moved a couple of things around as well. The generator and the crate that were here are now underneath the stairs, which I think works pretty good. And I've been through and harvested all of the gardens, uh, garden plots, and replanted with potatoes so that we can get some more molotovs on the go. Um, but this is the main amount of work that I've been doing. So you'll see this is a bit of a bigger area now. Um, this was a, a small corridor here that opened up into, you know, a, a full floor piece here. Um, I moved that full floor piece over into this position, put in a half piece, which I think works better with this run of um, um, balcony, and also crafted a glass floor for this uh, location and I think this really works very well down here. Um, I have put in a couple of glass windows as you should be able to see. So we've got two there and two there and down below um, we're not going to be able to put in a doorway I think um, just because of where this basket sits on the on the ground. Um, so I might need to just box this whole area in. Uh, that bears a little close, otherwise I'd probably head down there and show you exactly what I mean. Uh, but that's fine for now. Okay, so that's pretty much what I've been doing. Let's just check the Jenny and have we got anything in the cooker? Nope. Um, we're good for food and vegetables we've got two waters on us i might take berry water out because we are in august now i think i'm burning some food here yep that's the noise you can hear uh, let me put that away in here uh, so now refining wise um yeah we're kind of getting through our resources we don't have any um Copper left at all, this, this one last piece here. Um, and then we've got a couple of pieces of iron ore, which I might, I might refine while we're running uh, around in the wilderness. Let me just top up the generator, make sure we don't run out of any power. But I think today um, we just need to keep working on our iron if we can. Um, I didn't get a chance to look at the map overnight, so I don't know where our rogues are. Uh, but I am seeing a bit of um, copper over on the rock there. I think we'll go and grab that and then just do a general run around looking for resources. We have a full pickaxe, that's good. I would definitely like to listen out for some um honey today if we can oh there's a couple of pieces of iron there yep yeah, awesome let's get out and make a good start on the day let me take that food with me and we will have berry there we go perfect 
and the fire uh, it has a little bit of fuel missing let's just top that up with just a few one more that'll do awesome okay let's head out and go and uh, gather those bits of iron i see a cougar over there level six chickens And uh, if that bear has moved away, I will run round. Oh, there's a lock crate there. Oh, that's very tempting, isn't it? Well, let's get these bits of iron. And let's see if that crate hangs around long enough for us to run back in and make a lock pick. Oh, that's potassium. We really are making good progress. Did I hear a wolf then? No? No. Yeah, we're making good progress, I think. Is that a piece? That's just a piece of the debris. Uh, yep, let's grab this. Yeah, considering how much glass and iron and stuff the elevator requires we're making really good progress i'm getting it kind of um boxed in and finished off so quite pleased with that let's grab these crates while we're here and i think i might use some of that burnt meat to just generate a little bit of mass and we'll get a, a lock pick on the go I think I'll just keep this shotgun out just in case um alloy sheets are quite nice and and I guess the ammo um the biofuel as well and a bit of um adhesive we've been using a a little bit of that for crafting all the glass so I guess that's good. So this is where the elevator is right now. We've got all four panels down here. Um, we've got two on the side there and two on the back as well. Uh, but we can't really put too much more in here because, as you know, when we run in here, if we had a doorway here, the basket for the elevator is in this position. So it will make getting in here quite tricky and sometimes it's kind of nice to run up this bit of dirt here and then down into the basket. So I think what I'll do is this, where this finishes, whoops, where this finishes here, I'll make that a joint for a roof piece, which will bring across this way horizontally. And then we'll kind of box this whole area in. So we'll we'll build up um, some walls on this side here against the stairs, um, up to the level of this this join here, and we'll box this whole thing in, and maybe put the doorway down here. So we run in the door, and then this whole area is like an atrium if you understand my meaning so we've got a bit of work to do to get all of that done just going to run around and drop all this stuff off in the base make sure we have enough food and water and then we'll head out and uh, see if we can find any honey i'm trying to remember i think it's summer that the honey appears and we're definitely in a summer month now. So fingers crossed we come across some uh, some honey that we can harvest. Okay. And as much scrap as possible. We are definitely using up our scrap reserves. Right, just checking around to see if there are any um, ores on any of these rocks. Might go up on this rock. This has been producing lately. 
nothing at the moment. There's a bear there. Uh, okay. Nothing over there either. You can see them from quite a distance. Uh, but there is a bit of scrap here I just missed. So that's cool. Okay, well, we'll head down, as I say, into the birch forest. The chances of coming across some um, honey, I think that's the greatest chance in that area. Because there's many more trees. Uh, I would stop and get that plant there, that fibre, but with the um, wolf right next to it, I don't know if it's worth it. But there is a bit of iron on top of here, I think. And this is strawberry. Yep, okay. We'll go back for that in a second. Okay. Oh, and a bag here as well. Not going to say no. We might need to make another pickaxe. So it's always good to have a little bit of uh, scrap ready. And some planks as well. Alright, what have we got here? I know we've been doing a lot of this just lately, but with all of the crafting that we're doing, it's um, uh, a necessary part of the game, I'm afraid. We could think about putting a couple more mining drills in. Maybe upgrading them as well for efficiency, try and keep the power usage down. Um, but two's been working pretty well for me up till now. We're not doing as much crafting. You know, that's more than enough usually. Whoops. Is that a locked crate? Oh, it is another one. And we've used our lockpick. Okay, that's fine. We can't afford another one. Let's check in on here for any ore. Uh, oh, a bit of zinc has just appeared there. I'll go and grab that. We've not got any of that in stock. And it's so useful for um, oxygen tanks and think making alloy sheets as well and that's something else we're going to need to do is reinforce um, part of the building the um, lift building so especially if we are thinking of hitting up the um, the hunters soon um, I made the molotovs with that in mind but their target is going to be that um, elevator that's for sure Right, let's keep an eye out, see if we can find any honey. Okay, we're down to the uh, water's edge. Oh, a bit of copper. Now we really don't have any. So I, I am going to stop and grab this. We're uh, getting through our stocks. We've completely wiped ourselves out. Then we should really be getting some sandstone as well, because we will need some glass fragments for repairs, of course. Okay, staying away from the wolf over there. Let's go this way there's a bear uh, there's something on top of that rock I'm not sure I think we can get up right in the middle here yeah let's see if we can get this without triggering either animal nice um, right let's jump down this way So I think he was just alerted. I, both of them were interesting. Okay. Oh, 
couple of bits of um or there what level are you level three okay um right you're moving away let's see if we can sneak up here i'm gonna go for this one first yikes that's really close to that bear the other one is potassium i think so i'm gonna leave that one there and we'll see if the bear has moved and we've got some rogues over on the little island over there now we came into the game kind of halfway through the day so it might be worth me heading back home and we'll pick this up again during daylight hours we'll go out and do a little bit more looting oh we've got a storm well that's less than ideal well that's all sorted let's just get this water cooked um okay we've got a bit of a uh, bit of mass we can generate there we're almost at a hundred so if i do what do we think let's split these in half and i think this is one for one recycling the um, premium feathers so once this gets to a hundred what we should be able to do is generate 25 mass and get this um elevator track made and we've got enough power to cope and with this storm raging now the um, wind turbines should kick in quite a, a good amount of power yep that looks good so let's get that light turned off we'll grab these ingredients make the track cool right let's grab our water I wonder if we are hungry enough to eat a, a roast chicken. We are. That's good. That should move up our um, stamina and health. Right, let's grab this. And I think we'll head up onto the roof to place this this time. Can we reach it from here? I don't think we can. Let's go right up onto the roof here. Not been up here in a while. Yep, these wind turbines, dangerous. Right, let's see if we can get this placed. Wonder if it'll snap from here. I hope so. Mm, no. Uh, okay. Let's get on there. Nope. Nope. Okay. Right, let's head back down. We don't want to break our leg. Uh, so, yeah, let's head down, right down here. Should be able to reach it from here, I hope. Yep, we should be good here. Okay. Just thought it might have been easier from down there. But I do want to see if that looks like that's high enough now. Let's just take a quick look. I think it should be. It's quite a quite a maze this space now. Yeah, I think that's high enough. Yep, we should be able to come off there with a platform and a landing area. Um, in the same way that we've done there below. Uh, we're going to need a couple of walls um looks like one two maybe four three or four coming up this way to give it some structural integrity um, that's a lot of glass that's a lot of glass we're going to need to make interesting okay well we're getting there that's the kind of bulk of the the crafting done now it's just glass now 
Is it worth us doing a couple of walls so we can kind of get a feel? Nails. So we can get a feel for, you know, what this, this is all going to look like. I'll just put two in for now. Um, we'll put that there and the nails and... Um, must remember to top this up before we leave and probably the power as well. Uh, yeah, this should be okay here. Probably move that rail in. Maybe just three. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Let's have a look from back here. Um, yeah, I think maybe just one more. Yeah, one more, I think, is going to take us to where we need to be. I think I'm going to do it. Uh, let's drop that, that and that. We'll grab you. Have to put those back in the right place. Um, can we reach from here, I wonder? I think we can. This railing's uh, unnecessary now. Okay, let's uh, put that up there. Okay, let's have a look, see if that lines up. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Okay, so we just need a, a load more glass. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, plus a doorway. Yeah, turn more glass. So definitely some diving trips on the horizon. I think, to be honest, I'll probably do a lot of that off camera. Let's go and top the fire up, make sure the generator is full. And uh, we will head out go and see what we can find. There's the fire. We're good for food and water. And that's ticking away nicely. That'll be done soon. And the power is building up. Awesome. Right, let's go. So, where did we say we were going to head? Oh, yes. Down past the pond and then over in that direction. We'll go this way. Right, good. Let's head down. Nice. Oh, thank goodness. That rain is so loud sometimes. Right, we've got nothing else there. That's fine. Let's kind of head this way. Oh my god! There's a... a rogue. He's on me. I don't know how many others are on me. That's the problem. Right. You come here. Bella. Nice, okay. That's one down. We got a little bit injured. Let's grab the... Uh, Bandage? Okay. Well, that's okay. Right, we'll just head. Oh, I've kind of lost which way I'm going now. That's going back home and that's not what I want to do. But also I don't really want to run back into those uh, rogues. I wonder if we can see them on the map. Uh, there. I didn't think I'd run into them that way. Okay, so I need to keep to the right a little bit more. Okay. Are they down there, are they? Okay, well, let's go this way. Yeah, that was a bit of a surprise. Ah, oh, that was funny. That could have been um, interesting, having all of them 
running at me like that. Right, there's a bit of um, potassium on the rock there. I missed a plant back there. There's a wolf this way. Let's keep going. Don't have a lot of time. We did spend some time in the base this morning, so... Right, okay. Um, there's a plant here. There's a wolf. Whoa! Okay, he's still on me. That's fine. Let's go this way. He should drop off soon enough. Keep an eye on my stamina. Right, let's have a look up here. Uh, you should be long gone now. Bit of scrap. Not too much else. Uh, oh, I do see some copper down there. Now, do we have enough for another pickaxe? Let's see. Uh, no, we need plenty more scrap. Okay, well, that's good. So we need three more scrap and we should be able to make a, a new pickaxe. That's, uh, that's the next target. Oh, I'm seeing a um, berry up here. Quite a few fibres as well. All the fibres, in fact. Lots of them here. Oh, and a bear. Couple of oars here. I think we're good. Let's grab these. Noticed a few frame drops today. Don't know what the deal is with that. I don't know where that bear is that I can hear grumbling. Could be below me, could be the one up the hill. I'll be kind of sneaky as possible. And we'll grab this copper as well. Um, right, okay, I'm just gonna have to run for it, I think. I really want to get down here. Oh, he was, he was right below me. Wow. Okay. We did well to not alert that bear. Let's grab this. Oh, we're hot. That's going to make things interesting. It shouldn't last too long, to be honest, so I think I'm just going to tough it out and we'll drink some water in a little while. Some good plants around here, though. Uh, some more ore up on the, uh, on the rock above us. Let's grab the plants and that scrap, because we're so close to making the new pickaxe. I'd like to have that as a backup, just in case. We need it. Look at all these plants. Amazing. So much fibre. Would be a great starting area, wouldn't it, this? Let's grab the, um, the ore off here. Uh, we need one more bit of scrap and we can make a new pickaxe. That's good, because this one's getting low. There we go. There's a bit of scrap. I'm going to go and get that. Uh, there's still that bit of ore up on the rock, but that might require a bit of parkour. 
to get that one whereas um let's get this let's get this crafted this pickaxe right uh so we'll need um fruit and veg let's have a i don't think we even need a berry water yet i think we can afford to wait for just a little bit longer uh, I saw the scrap on the left. I'm going to go back for it in a second. Just wanted to get that berry. Kind of doubling back on myself. Let's grab you. Well, considering it is, it is hot, we're not doing too badly for water. Right, let's climb up here. Hmm, lots of plants. This area is so full of them. Yeah, and the bags are spawning in behind me as well. Oh, nice. We'll have one of those then. A couple of those. Um, a couple of berries, maybe. And I think now, the, now we'll have the water. And we've still got two canteens full of water. There's something so satisfying about collecting all of the plants one after another when you get like a nice run like that let's go back for this bag or this box oh a beehive where though <gasps> there awesome right let's use our repellent nice oh my god look at it moving This is awesome. Yay! Sorry bees to destroy your place. But I need your honey. Wow. Okay, so August definitely seems to be the right time to search for the honey. I'm going to need much more than just what I've uh, gathered so far. It's just to get that um, the stamina boost. Now I could go for that from above, but it's a big risk. You're risking uh, getting a broken leg, climbing up and down these uh, cliff faces. This one's not so much of a risk, but I think it is potassium. Right, let's uh, head down again, I guess. I think that was the one that I was going to come back for. Maybe there's another one on here. Let's just have a quick check. Oh, yeah, there's something here. This is potassium again, though. Um, there's a crate over there, but that's right next to a bear. I've still got my repellent. What a shame we can't find another another beehive we'll keep going though still got plenty of time left in the day um right we've got a wolf there let's kind of circle around Uh, a bear, okay, got a berry here. 
Right, I need to check my stamina. Oh, we need to swap out this axe. And water's a problem. Yeah, we'll we'll take a drink of water. Oh, some more berries. Right, let's have a look down here then. So we didn't really get as far as I wanted to, but we didn't exactly sort of head out at the beginning of the day. We were time limited today. Um, I can't risk going too far and not being able to get back safely. One thing I haven't checked is how much I have left on the flashlight. Yep, as you can see, it's about to um, it's about to go. So that's something we do need to make when we get back. Uh, we have been refining some zinc, so that shouldn't be a problem. Good. Uh, okay, we'll just have one berry. Let's check all these rocks around here while we're in the area. So there's usually something on these rocks just here, but mainly seen it when there has been a, a wolf or something hanging around. Yeah, it's empty at the moment. That's fine. There's a crate back there I've missed. I'll go and get it. Might have some nails in that I can recycle. But we will need a few nails for um, the building, of course, so. Right. Oh, uh, a bit of ore. Yeah, a bit of ore on here. Looks like zinc. And there was a bear just up here, wasn't there? Um, right, no, we're clear. Um, I'll check along the top of these rocks and across the way. Yeah, there's a piece of... Um, that looks like iron over there. Uh, some chickens. Maybe it's not iron. Onion. Yeah, it is iron, I think. Very cool. Let's just check the rest of this. Nope, nothing on there. Now, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I'm really trying to remember where those rogues were. Can we see on the map? Um, it's so difficult to tell. It really is difficult to tell in the daytime. Were they somewhere here? Or were they here? I have no clue. There looks like there's something there, but that could be just a reflection of a bright rock. Okay, we're going to have to just be careful. Yeah, a bunch of um, bunch of drop uh, drop frames today. It's been running so smoothly recently. Um, but I've noticed there've been quite a few updates um, from Cold Games, just small ones. Um, not with any patch notes or anything in the forums. Just you know, must just be tinkering with things. And uh, that seems to have made a bit of a difference to the uh, the drop frames. Now I'm not getting any problem when I'm playing. It's nice and 
nice and smooth for me, but obviously there's something going on with the capturing of the game. Oh, the, they were down here, weren't they? I need to go sort of more towards the the lake. Otherwise I'm just going to run straight into them again, I think. Oh, a couple of oars though. Let's grab these. I don't know which one I'm hitting there. Right, how much did we get today? 22 and 18. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, yeah, I think if I go that way, I'm going to run into those rogues. So let's go this way. I mean, they're one, they're one short now. But honestly, I don't want to run into them. They're going to be angry. Really, I'm surprised the other three... <gasps> Gosh, the other three didn't just come barreling after me. Oh, gosh. Okay, there's a bear there. Am I running straight towards these guys? I could be. No, we're good, we're good. I've come far enough down. They're down there in the middle of the uh, of the forest, I think. But what I do need to be careful of is the hunter camp that's down this way. Yeah, we are running straight towards them. Uh, I think I'm going to go to the water and then up the hill through the birch forest. I think that might be a safer route. Um, yeah, I think this is better. Mind you, look at the bear. A bear and a wolf waiting for me over there. There's my food and stuff. Uh, we need uh, one of you and we'll take a tomato. Let's do a little run through the forest and see if we can hear any bees. I was so glad to see that beehive. But I'd love to find another one. More scrap. Let's see if we can see one from a distance. Um, nothing. Let's grab this bag. Nice. Um, yeah, wolf, wolf. Yep, not hearing any bees. Um, there's a bit of um, iron on here though. Can we grab you without alerting that wolf? Yeah, we're good. <gasps> there's a lot crate there. Okay, right, we're gonna need to use the um, flashlight here but I think it's probably gonna run out before we get home but at least it's giving us a, a little bit of light nice level 10 couple of level 10 chickens oh good right we will need to get rid of some of this stuff in our inventory um that's one. Oh, I could have put that in the chicken hutch oh well I could come out and get it. Let's grab you and you. Oh, and some iron. Try 
travel all that way and there's some iron on your doorstep all right let's drop a fuel brick in let's turn a light on um we'll need to put some stuff away before we butcher the chickens right kill and butcher kill and butcher let's drop those in there we'll put the fat in the fire Ooh, pretty decent day i think another 14 um premium feathers that's good and we've got some honey a whole bunch of ore let's make some biofuel and let's put this uh, ammo away and we haven't even gathered what's in the mining drill either right let's recycle the pickaxe let me grab one more leaf and we'll make another biofuel and oh did we leave food in the did we leave food in the in the cooker or is that that bug I'm not sure, but we've got some honey anyway. A small amount, but it's better than nothing. Right, let's put this um, iron in here. We've got 15 and 14. We've got 19 um, potassium, 18 copper, and some more zinc. That's good. Right, we're going to need to go out and get a couple of chickens tomorrow. uh is that box still here that i dropped on the floor i think it's despawned yeah i think it's gone right let's grab you and you and we'll grab the eggs i'll drop some water in and a tomato let's top up Uh, you are empty, so let's drop that little bit of biofuel in there. Drop the um, rotten meat, and it's a bit foggy right now. Whoops. Right, let's get the water refining. Let's put the eggs away. And, oh, 16. Nice. Well, I think we've we've got plenty of iron now to make a couple of lockpicks, which I think will be a good thing for us to do. Let's drop the poop in this plant bed here. And uh, we'll need some more water. Look at the moon. Very creepy looking. Uh, we've got a bit more biofuel here. Let's top up this. Oh, we need just one more, I think. Right, let's do some water. And we need some. Excellent. Right, we need some more biofuel in there, don't we? Just one, I think? Yeah, one should top it up. Well, almost. Good enough. Awesome. Well, that was a pretty decent day. Um, let me just check on the plants upstairs. I don't know if I topped up the water in here. Let's grab the um, fertiliser. Turn this light on. A drop of water, light, fertilizer, water. Good enough. Pop that potato seed away. Drop that back in there. Very cool. Awesome. Well, I think this is a very good place to leave this episode. We've made a little bit more progress on the elevator, but a, a ton of iron. Uh, I do need to make a um, battery 
to replace this. This is actually out now completely. Um, oh, look at this. We have different um, camo. Black camo and gold trim. I don't know how we activate that. But we've got some different options. That must be one of the things that Cold Games has been working on. I've not noticed that before. We've got nothing for the bow. But all of the weapons there. What about our clothing? Nothing yet. I'm looking forward to being able to use um, some shaders to make these different colours and stuff. That'll be interesting. And nothing for our tools. Just the um, these options on our... Uh, on our weapons. Very interesting. So maybe a hint at what's coming in the next update. At least one of the things. That's cool. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.